Hello Aries and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. Uh, this is your February money, career and finance reading. But as usual, this is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. First, we're going to take a look at your Angel Oracle card. And for you, the card that popped out was the Holy Love. Holy Love is all about that the angels are surrounding you and filling you with their love. Some of you might be feeling a little bit unloved, unwanted this period of time. But this is the card that's definitely here to assure you that uh, you are loved, you are guided, and the angels are I uh, want to assure you that you are somebody who is a very lovable person. Although this is kind of like a, a monetary finance, but we will see how it's going to come out from that point of view. In the center of your reading, you do have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a beautiful card. It is a card of a new beginning, a new chapter in your life that's starting. I mean, this can be a new project. This can be a new job, a new business or your own business. Definitely, it's something that can that starts as a spark and can turn into something great this is a very adventurous very um, passionate energy some of you might be working on a project that you're very passionate about maybe you are working on your business that you're very passionate about but there's something that that's uh, that's uh, full of passion and excitement here uh, with uh, the ace of wands whatever this new chapter is in your life but let's see the surrounding cards the first card you have here is uh, the king of wands so the king of wands is the, the true born leader like he's very charismatic he's very optimistic he is somebody who is very adventurous love to innovate love to uh, gather people uh, behind his thoughts and he is somebody who's very successful as well this is a very entrepreneurial uh, type of energy some of you might be your own boss some of you might be dealing with a person who has this uh, natural born leader qualities but this is a great energy uh, to have as because you know he usually brings success into your life it can be a leadership position as well or as i said some of you might be dealing with a personality like that and the next we have here is the lovers so the lovers is the uh, is the uh, card that's kind of all about law of attraction some of you might be attracting something great into your life this card is generally all about uh, partnership so there might be a very important business partnership in your life in, in 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 your life currently or you might be uh, entering in this new agreement uh, with a new company there's definitely something uh, of a partnership uh, energy here uh, because that's what the lovers is all about but this is a good partnership this is one of those partnerships where everybody is equally um, benefiting from the relationship uh, so this is not one of those when 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 the employer is kind of misusing this is where you are benefiting they are benefiting and everybody is getting out of it really well but this is also a card of balance so some of you right, maybe balance is very important but it is also a card of decision some of you might have to make a big decision this period of time maybe you need to uh, think about a new job a new business opportunity project that's a very uh, big decision or a partnership and you also have here the queen of wands so the queen of wands is very similar to the queen of king of wands energy uh, it is uh, the female uh, version of it she is also also very uh, productive she is somebody who is, who can get whatever she wants she's one of those that you know if she goes for a job a promotion or a business she's gonna get it because she's so attractive she's gonna attract everything everything that he she wants to achieve and this is kind of like a very positive energy like normally she has the sun on on, on this card and which is kind of an indication of the positive energy of the sun and she also doesn't care what everybody else is thinking now i want to call your attention to this right you have here uh, the king and the queen of pentacles and this is a, uh, an indication of a perfect partnership and this card is also all about partnership so for some of you having this perfect partnership is a very important factor in your money career finance endeavors these day, days 
uh, because both the lovers are talking about it and then you have both the king and the queen of wands which is uh, which are divine counterparts and they are uh, very good uh, partners now let's see what else we have here you also have the justice card so the justice is all about balance harmony some of you are trying to balance your life some of you are trying to find the balance how much time you're spending with works uh, how much time you're spending uh, with your family some of you are trying to balance your checkbooks but there's something that you're trying to balance uh, from a money career perspective now this can be also legal things it can be a, a document it can be a contract but it can be also a legal uh, decision so if you're going through a legal process there's definitely going to be some kind of a decision that's keep being made uh, in your favor and you're going to get whatever you deserve and that's all depends on how you've been acting but for some of you there might be th this contract that you're signing like about this partnership uh, which uh, is kind of uh, or you have to make a decision about a partnership and 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 the, and the justice can be that legal document that you are signing it can be also an employment document it can be also when when you know people kind of unite in, in a merger uh, or a companies are are uh, uniting in a merger and you also have here the two of wands now the two of wands is is, is interesting because first of all it is a, it's a card of a decision as well so like yeah, it's very similar to uh, the lover's energy from that perspective uh, that it can mean a decision where you have to kind of think about which path you want to go down and, and you can kind of clearly see on this in this imagery that one path want to be really clear for you. Now the two of ones is also the planning type of energy but what we need to kind of know about uh, this card that this kind of represents a situation when you've been achieving a lot. You you were able to you were successful in something and and um, and although you achieved a lot but you kind of deep down you know that there's way more for you to uh, get way more for you to achieve practically you have the whole world ahead of you and and and, and you had you have to kind of make this decision uh, whether you stick with whatever you have or you're kind of going into this new direction um, now again, this is a card of decisions. For some of you, need to make a decision uh, from a various perspective. Some of you need to make a decision whether you want to pick one job over the other. Some of you need to make a decision whether you want to get a promotion or not. Some of you need to make a decision whether you want to take a new job or not. Or some of you need to make a decision about a business matter, uh, your own business, a partnership of some sort. But this is a very new, passionate energy like you have a lot of wands energy like like practically aside from the lovers and the justice everything is wand energy very passionate and you're also, also uh, evolving from the ace of wands to the next step which is the two of wands so let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that more people get the message that they need for you it is only costing a push of a button so i hope that you hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons and i'm always very excited to read in the comment section what's happening in your life how is this reading um playing out uh, you for you personally uh, if you're willing to share it of course and we have another wands energy the four of wands so this is the card of a new beginning right this is the card of 11 11 which is an indication that new doors are opening for you things are uh, kind of starting for you like this is uh, also like you I, 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 can, I cannot really miss the fact that you you have a partnership here uh, but this is kind of like a, a very celebratory energy as well. So some of you might be celebrate a milestone that you're achieving. And, and it also has this uh, very comfortable feel to it when you are surrounded by people that you trust, that you are uh, enjoying working with. So it's a very good partnership. Um, that's really the main message of this reading that I'm kind of seeing so far. But you also have here the Ten of Wands. 
again more of wands energy it's very interesting very fiery very passionate so the ten of wands can first of all mean the end of a cycle but it can be also a sign that you are working a lot you're putting a lot of effort into something and and it can also be this something that started as a spark as a passion and that project and it kind of turned into this burden so some of you might be just overworking yourself some of you might be burdened something uh, but uh, there's kind of a couple things to consider when the ten of wands comes up one of them is that you need to think about how can you get help are you able to get uh, more resources or are you able to delegate something from your work uh, but it is also a sign that you're very close to achieving whatever you are working towards because 10 is end of a cycle and he is carrying his harvest which is an indication whatever he worked very hard for and he's heading home and i'm sure you can see what i see it's the 10 of pentacles which is the card of money financial prosperity windfall and financial stability uh, so i think whatever you're working towards you're gonna get uh, uh, you're gonna achieve it uh, because uh, the ten of pentacles is this uh, great financial stability that that it brings on a long term not just uh, on a short term for some of you it might be that you are working in uh, with uh, some family members uh, in in a in an entrepreneurial environment like you have your own business uh, like a family business it can be also uh, it can also mean uh, inheritance so maybe some of you are getting some kind of an inheritance because uh, you know the justice can be this legal process like if you're going through a legal process you will get uh, and we kind of talk about that you're, you're gonna get whatever you deserve and i think whatever you deserve is a ton of money because the ten of pentacles is all about money long-term stability now you have also two tens which is, it is definitely an indication that a cycle is ending for you and a new one is beginning but let's see what do we have at the bottom of the deck the bottom of the deck we do have the seven of cups which is the card of choices so some of you might be a couple of choices decisions right which is definitely in this card with the lovers and in in this spread with the lovers and the two of wands but i think overall you have uh, uh, some kind of a great business partnership uh, in question that is uh, that is bringing you lots of prosperity and financial stability so that's all i have for you i hope that this reading resonated and i'll be able to welcome you again